Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me just get us up live on the computer and then on the laptop. Let's see yeah, if I can get them. We are live. Hello, Jean Shoot. Hope you're feeling better. Okay. I love how it doesn't go live when I need it to on my laptop. So I will have to get out and try again. So are you welcoming everyone in? Are there um, people coming in? Uh, there is a bunch. Up to 11. And I only see two, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Laura. And All Jackie. Right. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> so it's 14 now, and I only see three, four, five. There we go. I finally got Hi, this Lori. to come up. Oh, Welcome. let me turn that down. Okay, so. Kathy Walton, hello, hello, hello. There's Nancy and Jackie and, and Kathy Cindy. and Cindy and um, who else we have? Lori and Laura. And Jean. And Sue and Beverly. And Bev. Yep. Welcome, everyone. Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, France. Hi, okay. Rita. Hi, Nicole. All right. So let's get going because we do have a few announcements today. And then I've got a fabulous project. So it this looks is just pretty good. You think so? You think they'll like it? I hope so. It's I very do. pretty, I think. So. Uh, sign up for my newsletter. You can sign up right here on Facebook. If it doesn't work from a mobile device that has been an issue before on pads and through phones, you can sign up on piccadillystampin.blogspot.com. Sure would appreciate it. For that matter, sign up for our YouTube. And if you're brand new, just we like Instagram us. Instagram too now. Uh, yeah, I'm trying something. I'm trying something. So yes, I am on Instagram with just some picture posts. Um, of cards that I've done if what's you're interested. Your, what's your handle there? It's Piccadilly 75, Piccadilly Stampin' 75. 75. Yeah, so <laughs> something new. So yeah, give me some hearts and loves there. I'd appreciate it. A um, couple days left. Today's the 8th. You have until the 10th if you want to get in our subscription service. That'd be Friday. Paper Pumpkin. Um, I don't have the thing on this. This is what came in the box from the next one. I know it's cards. I just don't have the actual printout. This doesn't say. But I know it's cards and it's got a kind of a berry theme to it. BOGO. We've got a BOGO going on. Uh, buy one, get one half price off of our kits. We've got if you are into stamping but don't want to take the time to develop, this is a great way to get our kits. Um, and you can buy one and get one at half price so you and a friend can do it or you can make um, two of the same or two different ones but it's kind of a good deal buy one get one yeah. last chance products up to 50% off if you click the link here that says shop now or if you're watching this later on YouTube I will have a description uh, in the description box I will have the link to my store look for this image last chance items click shop now and it'll take you just so you can browse through and see what's left because as things sell out they're gone once they're gone they're gone and this last chance is from the mini catalog that is uh, through the end of this month Go to greetings. I have another card kit to go that Seriously? I have developed. Yep. A whole new one, huh? Yep. I got another one next month, too. Cool. I know. So Why am I mailing them out? Uh you'll mail them. I don't I don't have that information right in oh, front of okay. me though. <laughs> well, I like going to the mailbox. So. He does. He does like feeding the mailbox for me. <laughs> Sometimes the packages are a little big and you got us go take them to the post but um, it's with the go-to greetings so I chose this on purpose especially for the new stamper it gives you several different sizes and fonts of happy birthday thinking of you just a note and thank you this is a great set to start because this has pretty much everything that you're going to need to start 
thinking of you goes with anything. You can have the happy birthday on the inside. You can have this be for a sympathy. It goes for anything. So I think this is a really good stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set, which I love dearly because I think you get the best images stamped off of that. I paired this kit using this stamp set. However, this kit is versatile enough. You can use whatever stamp set you want. But I paired it with the textured chic paper and why did I do that because these are simple enough cards that like I said you can use any stamp set that you want but they have a foil paper to them they're absolutely beautiful I've been working with quite a few of them both sides they have different seasons on the other side but I made this this set specifically so that they could be for uh, masculine and or feminine cards. So the paper is absolutely beautiful. You'll get a, a 12 by 12 uh, set of paper that I will cut into 6 by 6 just to save some cost on the shipping there. I love there. that paper. Isn't that paper gorgeous? It is. It is. I can see it from here. <laughs> so this is kind of a soft and sweet um, card kit. If you're interested, I will have links. I'll probably be posting one um, tomorrow, and I can put a link here in this description, I'm sure. This is just for another week and a half that I have this up, and then I will be ordering everything for it. But this is great. Even if you're an avid stamper, you can add your own things. I have um, many different options for you as far as um, what can be done with that paper. Okay, so. You're wearing that catalog out. Yes, I'm in love with the new catalog. There's many things left I need. So, let me just start off with talking to you about the True Beauty. And I'm going to move this up just a minute. This is the True Beauty uh, bundle. You get the stamp set, which you're seeing here, and then some dies. And I don't know how well you can see on camera or not, but they've got this beautiful... This isn't lattice, is it? Maybe it is lattice. I don't yeah, know how maybe. to explain it. It cuts out these flowers, which we're going to be doing a little bit of that tonight. And I actually paired this with... Let me look it up really quick. Tonight, some... I've had some people ask me about the new split card textures dies. So I went ahead and paired this with that because I feel like, um, you know, usually on Wednesdays I either do a technique like I did this last week or I do like a fun fold or something. But this is kind of just as good because we're going to do multiple layers and we're going to add a lot of texture I to the card. I counted a bunch on this. Yes, he did. He was looking at that. So let me show you this paper. This is absolutely beautiful paper that you can get if you buy the suite itself or if you buy it separately. There's all different kinds. There's um, some simpler ones on the back. There's some printed. Let's see here. I must have more. I'll take this bunch have out. Yeah, I have a lot. I've been doing a lot with this. Oh, that's where that went. Oh, I was looking for that. There's your strap. Look at these beautiful oh, wow. prints. I like that. I like the back. Oh, I know. The backs are gorgeous. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm going to use actually this one here. This is what we're going to use tonight. So this Ooh, has a watercolor. Yes, it does. You're right. It is just, you know, a piece of double-sided designer series paper but it does have a beautiful texture and then it's got kind of a water coloring on it so let's just start with this oops i didn't have that inside yeah, um, that, that would be mess. <laughs> i've been all over the floor okay so we're gonna cut this we are gonna cut this so i'm gonna start off and i'm just gonna cut this down as a four inch Got our score tool on this trimmer, and then our blade by five and a quarter inch. Yeah, they say it looks like a desert scene. This does? Yeah, sort of. Huh. Now, I wouldn't have thought that. I'm looking at it up close, and to me, it looks like a piece of fabric. 
Uh, that maybe has kind of a watercolor wash or a um yeah but it does i see where they get that it looks you see that okay in the distance in there now i'm looking on the computer so bill as my assistant would you be able to hand me that great big uh yeah thank you he's going to hand me the large this is the stamp and cut Hi, emboss machine Ugh, got all kinds of stuff on here, don't we? Let's get that out. Did you just put your finger and say hi, lady? I did. I waved. <laughs> okay. So. They say I'm coming through crystal clear, so. Are you? That's what they're saying. Oh, great. So this is the split card textures dies. Must be my allergies. And if you remember, was it, was it yesterday that I do... Let me just show you. Yesterday, I posted this on my casing Tuesday. I use this as part of the background on on this particular. So today, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use, I thought this was perfect for a masculine card to use it, but today, I'm going to use the other image, and let me pull them both out here. This one has, it does have kind of a, triangular angle on here. It, isn't that kind of neat compared to this one that I used yesterday? So I thought this was more, I shouldn't, I don't want to say feminine and masculine because actually you could use, exactly, you could use either. So I want to use this one. Did you guys oh, like this card, by the way? They're, they're loving it. They're saying that was a great man card. Isn't it just perfect? And you want to know the best thing? I didn't do any stamping. I ran this through. I cut this uh, paper. I did run this die through, but this is one of the cutouts that was available in the set. So I just wow. used that. Yeah, very easy. No stamps. No stamping. I just, just I glued that them. together and it just looked wonderful. So That's I'm really going nice. to place this down and I'm going to use, I'm going to get this I'm going to stand up just a moment here to make sure that I get this kind of lined up the way I want to. So what I'm looking at is that I'm getting an even border on each side the best that you possibly can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's hand stamped, right? So that looks pretty good. And then I will place, you place that down on your cutting mat and then roll this through. I'm going to grab hold here. Sorry if I'm wiggling that table a bunch. You can't use the mini boss, huh? Not on this. Well, you know. It's a half a die. Yeah, but you got to get the paper through so it doesn't crinkle up your paper. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I'm going to need this again from you, but not right at the moment. So well, let's just, hmm. yes. So I ran this through. Okay. Now, I happen to have a, will you put that away for me? I just want to show you. I don't want to make a mess on my table, but it, it just comes right out like that. Perfect, right? Okay, then I find when I take my um, block or my um, cutting mat, if I run this down into the trash, so I'm going to do that really quick. I have a large trash. I have my little trash up there, but I also have a large trash. They love it. And that comes off like butter. Can you put this back over there? Sure. I thought you were going to need it again. I will need it again. Just oh. not right now. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, will you hand me the card pack? The card pack? Okay. That's down here. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. Are this you? is Blushing Bride. Yep. I'm going to show this and the die cuts. And then that one other set. Okay. So, just to show you what the... It's a red rubber, what the stamp set looks like, and what the dies look like. And we're going to be using these in just a moment. I did use one from the newest. This is Stylish Shapes dies. And I like it. Now, you guys know how much I love that Taylor tag. It's always interesting to me that Stampin' Up! will one-up me when I don't think I'm ever going to find anything else. But this has a few different 
uh, flag dies, but what I like about them that's different is I like that they have the stitching. So when I can use these, I have been, and if you had my last card class, you're going to see that I use that quite a bit. So let's start with our card base. This is the Blushing Bride card stock, Very and good. yeah, it is. So this card I made using the stamp set sentiment, but I do want to point out to you guys that if you have, and I know a few of you on here, I'm sh I'm I'm going to take a guess that maybe Jean Shoot has a couple of stamps prior to. Well, she said she needs to. They're in her cart. She just needs to order. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you do. But um, here's the thing. If you don't like the sentiments with this, the card that I'm going to be making is going to be beautiful enough. This has a just because, here for you always, with love, you are a true friend. I'm going to be using the here for you always because I think it's a wonderful thing um, to send beautiful cards to people. Uh, this has just been, the last couple of years have been a little bit challenging, haven't they, Bill? They have. So um, I'm always a fan of that. But if you didn't care for these and you had a specific occasion, this could be a sympathy card. This could be a birthday card. This could be a wedding card. So wait till you see this, okay? And if, did you say Jackie was on here? Jackie, yeah. Johnson? Yeah, okay. And if you're not the artist that Jackie Johnson is, she's very, very good at coloring. This is the perfect card for you because... It's that easy. So let's start off and take our textured DSP that we have die cut now. And I'm going to use a little bit of, of Tombow liquid glue to just do a quick bead of... Around the edge? Yeah, of adhesive right here around the edge. Well, while you're doing that, I got a question. Okay. What do construction workers do at parties? This is a question from someone? They raise the roof. Oh, it's a dad joke. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Thanks a lot. <laughs> he tells his dumb dad jokes. All they right. Love it. They love it. Look at all the happy faces. So on the other card, I had this going the other way. On this card, we'll do it this way. Are they really liking it? Yeah, Deb Norman just laughing and laughing. Seriously? Come on, ladies. Help me out Nick here. Fox, rolling on the floor. Oh, you guys are going to, he ain't going to quit if you keep laughing at him. <laughs> Stop laughing, I beg of you. Okay, so I've stuck this down here onto the card base, which you can already see the texture from the paper and the texture here. So it's already beautiful right there. Okay, now let's pull in our piece. This is just a scrap piece of basic <laughs> white that I have. What are you doing? They think I got you good. <laughs> Whatever. He didn't win. What are you talking about? So I want to see the, I want you to see the colors. I took these colors right off the other side of that piece of paper. They had balmy blue, polished pink, and granny apple green. So and then I'm adding basic gray to this. Oh. Um, what else do I need? I'm missing, I don't have enough stamps. Well, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me look around the room. I might be able to find some. <laughs> Stop it. I meant I don't have enough stamps loaded up on blocks. <laughs> you think you're funny? I am. Oh, please. There's a whole wall of stamps. Okay, here's a great tip while we're listening to him talk about my wall of stamps. I have, um, sometimes Stampin' Up! will cut these off and they're a little bit off or they're a little bit big around here. I am not afraid whatsoever of using a different pair, not your paper snips, and cutting this down. Um, back in the day, that's how the stamps came and you had to cut them down. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. so, so you just get a solid piece of rubber and then you had to cut them out? Yep. So don't be afraid because this actually helps from that halo effect that you can sometimes get oh, if you rock. Pocket. Right. So don't be afraid. You bought the stamps. They're yours. Actually, I cut this one down earlier. So 
they're yours. Okay, since I have this one out, we'll start with the Polish Pink. This goes very beautifully with the um, Blushing Bride. I had to take a minute to think about that. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp that image down and give that a moment. Ooh. Yeah. Bright and happy, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to hand that to you. Place that someplace where it's not going to get icky all over everything else. And then this is the Balmy Blue. I very rarely use the Balmy Blue, but I thought, okay, it says Balmy Blue on there. I'm going to use it. I think that until the end colors came in this year, I wasn't really a blue fan. I'm turning more and more into a blue fan. Well, I'd hope so, because they got, what, four of them this year? Three. Three of them? Yep. Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. Okay. Beautiful. Here Orchid you go. Orchid Oasis. Yeah, I'm, I finally got that down. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green. And I probably should cut that down, but I'll just be very aware and not rock. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Don't need to sop it in, just tap. What? And then, mm. Part of the tap, not more the ink. <laughs> Squish, all, Squish over all over the place. One more. And then I'm going to do this while I'm right here. I've got the basic gray. So that was... Polished Pink, Balmy Blue, Granny Apple Green, and then this is Basic Gray. And, you know, I'm the minute I go to stamp this, it'll be crooked if I don't test. So, I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper. What are you doing? I'm stamping this down, but I know that if I if I don't do it just so, it'll be crooked. So I wanted to make sure that I had it straight and did a sample stamp. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, then, you're checking the and then if I'm, it's square on the block. Yes. Gotcha. And then I'm going to kind of stamp this over on the right hand side. Small stamp, small pressure. Give that time. Yay! Very delicate. Always here for you. Okay, now I'll hand this That's one to you. I know. I stamped oh. it off onto the opposite side. Did you miss that saying? I must have been talking. Were you talking and I not listening? Okay, will you hand me the dies well, for this? Ones. Right here. And let's pull some of these out. I still have these. This is so new to me, I still have it hooked to this. Magnetic sheet. This is not magnetic. This is what Stampin' Up! sends oh, them on. A it's a double-sided tape. Oh, by the way, did you? this was that die that I was talking about. Ooh. I know. And I like that they cut that out in gold. I think that's going to be really pretty. Um... Usually I take it off of this because sometimes it's like the double-sided tape of doom. Now before you hand me the big machine, I want to go ahead and set these down. Do you see if there is, well, maybe I can get this right here. I was going to see if there was any washi tape, but I think I can get this right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're on it. You're a good assistant. That's right. Okay, let's find that. And then I'm just going to set these dies on here. Well, the production helper over here. Oh, yeah. He wants everyone to know that he's the production manager. No, 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 no. no. The production helper's sleeping over here. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. I've got those, those on. Now, can you have that go the long way with that coming out? And I'm going to move this so that I don't... There we go. I'm right-handed, so I need it right there. So we'll run these through. Ah, see, I moved it. Um, 
the thing that I like is when you can get them all in one pass instead of doing several passes is just to stamp it all on one sheet. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now that one, if you stamped it different, you could have used your mini model. Yes, I could have, but I wanted to make you work out. There, I guess. <laughs> Well, I hadn't moved that one in months, so... Okay, those go back in there, so we'll set this aside. I think it's a double-sided tape. Uh, yeah. Well, this one I have the the magnetic plate that ended up they ended up calling out. But mine works fine, so I don't, they did a recall on them. So, okay, now we've got that. So now it is time to build. Okay, and I've got a few little things here. Bring this back. Let's give the mesh. This is the metallic mesh ribbon. It is one and a half inches long. We're gonna talk about that first. I want to use this, and I'm in love now, after it took me forever to get used to it, I'm in love now with the Stampin' Seal for multiple reasons. But I'm gonna try to figure out, I'm thinking I'm gonna want it in this area. So I'm going to take some of this seal. Don't push too hard. I'm still in the habit of pushing too hard. Don't push too hard. And then I'm going to take some of this ribbon that it's, it's kind of funky, but let me tell you, first I want to look at the size of this and I'm going to go a little longer than this area. Is it a cut? Easily. Yeah. yeah, cuts very easily. It's just a like a synthetic type thing. Oh, okay. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of push this all together like that, like so, and then lay that down on that spot. Now I've got this way too long, but I'm not gonna trim this up just quite yet. So we have another new ribbon. Now this we've had for a few years and I've used it for a lot of different things. I really like it. This is a brand new one. Now this is a metallic edge, so it has that silver just like the silver on, I don't know if you guys can, can they see that very well? Uh, yeah. I'll stand yeah, up. Yeah, no, we can see it. I wanna see it, I can see it. There, can you see that there's kind of like a silver mm -hmm. in there? Well, there is too here. It's a natural cotton, but it has like a silver on it. So I want to do a little, swooshy swoosh with this. That's why I said it's kind of a fancy jobber. So the first thing I'm... A swooshy swoosh. swoosh. Yeah. I'm going to cut a little flag ending here. I want to start and I want to look at how far I want that. And I really want about four inches in between or so. I can always cut off. I can't put on. So flag that ending too. So here's how I'm going to do this. I've tried a couple methods. I tried to go ahead and do seal on this. That works. However, Blue dots. this is just the easiest way. So I'm going to set this kind of right here. So if I'm counting right, that's layer three. Yep, you are counting right. I didn't know you were keeping track. Well, I'm just watching you. Okay. Now, I want this to have a little bit of a loop-de-loo, so bringing down another glue dot. I think sometimes we forget that layers don't have to be just matting. They can be whatever you want. Okay, now I want a loop-de-loo on this end, too, so I may have to do that and trim off a little bit. So you've got, so that loop is kind of showing. Okay, like so. So I definitely want to trim. Let's put my glue dots up. I'm going to trim this like so. Now, on these edges, this is just a flat edge, and I think it is a little bold. So what I want to do, 
I don't know if bold's the word that I'm looking for, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to kind of cut an angle in here, a couple of them, and that was just a little bit too tall, so I'm going to do it again. Cut it off so it's kind of more jagged instead of such a straight line, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Kind of cut down in. So I'm sure many people don't know because I worked in brain injury and a lot of people know that from most of my formidable years, but I was actually a barber and um, right out of high school I went to barber college first, and um, which is a profession that I absolutely loved, so I don't want to like make it sound like I didn't stick with it or anything. I would have, but... Um, yeah, anyway, long story. <laughs> I shave a head now all the time, so I don't have to worry about keeping up with beard trims and stuff. So um, when you're cutting hair, a lot of times you'll see them go in at an angle so that it's not just like a straight cut, like bowl cut. That's kind of what I want you to do on this, is just do. Okay, so it makes kind of a frayed end. Now, let's take a look at what we're going to do next. I know that this is going to be the center, right? Because it's just beautiful. So I'm going to pop that up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Layer four. Well, I'm going to put some layers oh. first. <laughs> I just wanted to get that kind of popped up. And I want this to have kind of an angle at it. So... So let me do this. Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of glue. Are they liking it? Oh, they're loving it. Are you guys kind of getting what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of building up these layers. This glue sticks really well, so I I'm... I love the mesh. Yes, that mesh is so much fun. And... You know, it won't be too long. Halloween will be coming up, and that just makes great little kind oh, of cobwebbing. Okay, it makes great cobwebbing. <laughs> I'm just saying. We don't need those. Hey, this year it's only here. June, but July the new catalog comes out. I know. So all of you who are watching, who are on my VIP page, you've already got a catalog coming to you, which would probably be here by the end of the month for you guys Whoa. for anyone else if you're new and you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like me to be a demonstrator let's see be your demonstrator I'd be more than happy to do that okay I'm liking that um just the first catalog is always free all I ask is to off cat set the postage um and the cost of the catalog is you place your first order with me. Okay, so we're getting that. I think I'm liking this. Are you guys kind of seeing where I'm going with this? It's so many textures. But yet, I didn't have to be a color artist like my friend Jackie is. She's good, Bill. She's going to do a demonstration on my VIP page. She is? Yes. Awesome. I totally raked that in. I just asked her, and she said, sure. <laughs> but, well, that was pretty easy. Well, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to actually sit and talk to her. I was so busy today. Okay, let's put a little bit of greenery right in here. Look at that. So I've got the bowed layers. I've got the background. Let's get that good and glued on here before I keep talking. Isn't that beautiful? So... Do we have any um, gemstones here? Yes, we do. Which I'm just going to use plain rhinestones, I think. Rhinestones? Yeah. You know, like the cowboy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wondered if you would know what I that was. I on it, but I wasn't going to say anything. Do you know what that is, even? Rhinestone cowboy? Yeah. Then John Travolta? Not John Travolta. That was Urban Cowboy, you. Oh. <laughs> Rhinestone Cowboy was Glenn Campbell. Uh, Is that before your time? No. I thought you could. I remember, I remember listening to that on AM radio. <laughs> you listened to AM radio? Had a little, one of those little radios. Used to fall asleep with 
I don't like that. In my ear and wake up in the morning to a dead battery. Really? How could you sleep? Batteries weren't easy to come by. (laughs) How could you sleep? Fall asleep. How how do I sleep now? Oh, that's true. I could vacuum on his head and he would stay asleep. (laughs) Let's see. Where do I want this? I'll do one there. So I'm doing a few more than normal. But you get the idea of Nick how this is. Glenn Campbell. Nick does? Nick knows who Glenn Campbell is? Must. How could she? One, she's too young. And two, it's country. Do you listen to country in Ireland? I would have Ireland her. is a country. <laughs> Bill, you've got to stop with the dad jokes. This is how he is 24-7. I'm not even paying attention here. I'll do one here. Okay. <laughs> I did five on here this time. Someone asked if I had eight tracks. No, I never had an eight track. Uh, I remember listening to eight tracks. I though. never owned an eight track. I've seen them. You've seen them? But okay. That was the cool kid stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here's here's the original that I went off of. The eight tracks were the cool kid thing. Well, yeah, because I had an LP, big, the big album. Yeah, but seriously. The cool kids had cassettes in our days. Well, the eight yeah, tracks but, was when I was like in elementary right, school. Right, and then the cassettes came along, you know, and then and then CDs, CDs right? And, and now it's all plug and play. Yeah, download. So, okay, this is tonight's card. Always here for you. I think it's got a lot of great texture because you have the two different elements with the matching. Um, Uh, ribbon you have beautiful uh, like watercolored um, flowers on there that you didn't have to color with your blends or you didn't have to watercolor you've got the texture of the um, background plus the DSP on there so absolutely beautiful I think imagine like a mint macaron color This could be a sympathy card for a dear friend. Imagine it as a wedding card in their colors. You know, there's so many options to this. And so those were the card that I did on Tuesday and the card that I did this today were from the Split, I think they're called Split Card Textures Dies. And they are in the new annual catalog. So... There you have it. There was today's. Were there any questions, Bill? Did you notice any questions? No, they love it. From anyone? They love it. Okay. Now, so this is what I'm showing you today. Oh, Bill's got one more thing. If you need to order any of these products, you can order through me. I do have a Shop Now button here on Facebook. If you go to my Piccadilly Stampin' Wall, it's blue and it's up at the top. Or if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can... Um, order things through me I will have a link in the description box below so please use this host code if your orders are under $149.99 if it's over then you earn the host rewards and I want you to have those okay last week I made this card beautiful all my cards are beautiful right Right. I love all of that was a different one you didn't cut anything straight. No, I didn't cut anything straight, and I didn't have to measure a thing because, measure. other than the base piece, I guess. And I used um, my beautiful die cut for this one. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this. So, if you share my video right now to your wall, your name goes into a drawing for next week. I'm going to have two winners for these cards. For those who shared last week, I have these cards that I am ready to um, do a drawing on. So we had um, 36 shares, I think. Wasn't quite as many as before, so I don't know if I just didn't have any as many viewers. But your names are in here. Remember, if your privacy settings are set really strict and high, it doesn't tell me if you have um, shared or not. So, okay, Bill's going to do the drawing. Can you grab two while you're there? got two stuck together. Oh, okay. Perfect. Stacy Burns. Stacy Burns. Um, I don't... I haven't drawn her name before. I don't know that name. So, Stacy, you're new to me. I will need your address to send you your card. Anybody knows her. 
Yeah, thank you so much for sharing my video. And what do you got? Patty, oh man, Geldert? Um, Geldert, Patty Geldert, Patty Geldert, Patty Geldert? Patty Gelder. Oh, I'm sorry, Patty, if we're screwing up your name. But you also, I don't know you either, so I will need you to message me here on Facebook. And you have won one of these cards. So, you guys, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes and share some creativity with you. I hope that it inspires you. Is there anything else, Bill? Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Oh, there is something else for those of you who follow me. Now, I don't do Piccadilly Parfaits anymore, but I am having a video come out, just a video of a really cute card on Friday. So be looking for that video. Um, it's just going to be on YouTube. If you are not um, a part of my YouTube audience, click over and subscribe and you will get that video. So take care. Have a good evening. Talk to you later. Good night. Bye-bye.